last classes was as any two brothers could be. I couldn't see nothing wrong there at all. And everyone will tell you that. My mother, you say, it was the last job in marriage. Hmm. Remember what she said? Her mother said uh, to me, mother's brother, when he was getting married. He, he was a draper by old Waterbot, in the city of Waterbot. They got past it, she says, you have the last place to you now, when he was after getting the woman. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she? The last place I knew, she said. <laughs> Nicholas and Paddy Butler, two bachelor farmers in the Comera Mountains in County Waterford, living the harsh lifestyle of an era long gone. The bond between them so great that they lived their lives entirely for each other. They were mostly untouched by the outside world, even appearing to shun female company. But even this simple life had a dark secret waiting to emerge. is a thing, if you, if you like it, it's a lovely life, it's an awful tough life, but it is like the miners, huh? that's the way I put it down <laughs> now, <laughs> that you don't care about the drudgery if everything is going to, to your plan, yeah. and your cattle going right and everything, you're happy at it and you're born into it and uh, you'll get several fellas with big farmers and they have sons, and they have no interest at all in farming, the sons coming up. They got too much college work. And free farmers. A good college man never met a farmer. You can be sure of that. <laughs> How much is this to him? So then you have to make it up what way to be in Danville. For the dog, you're giving them. See now. And, but that goes then with every different dog according to what they say. You know, you know, different, yeah. different though. We'd never try an easy job. We'd go steady at it. And steady keep, going. And keep going. <laughs> that was our policy, anyway. As they say, working horses, you could kill them in a half an hour. Mm. But you could have them as fresh in the evening if you took them studying mm -hmm. and got ten times as much done. You know, it all depends the way you handle them. Right. Leave them in their stride, like, you know, if you go a little... If you force them. them. It's the same way if you put a person walking fast. Mm -hmm. He won't last. <laughs> and if he walks nice it's and steady, steady. he'll keep going. <laughs> My father and mother. My father died in 1946. He was 76 years of age. My mother died in 62. She was 83. And this is myself when I was 12 years of age. Confirmation day. And my sister and brother taken with me on the same date. My mother died sudden. Uh, she did say strange things even before. That noise, Joe. <laughs> Wicked late she went to bed. Yeah. Wicked late. He gave out. Do you um, know he's he, he going to any bed tonight? The time we have to get up in the morning. Mm. Uh, we're well, milk and cows that time. You we're time enough. And she, she was a wicked woman to make you go right. to bed. Uh, we're we time enough, says she. The noise is loud. I came in, <laughs> I suppose it was nine and a half, and I know she says. I don't ever have a chat with Paddy, uh, and I once a chat with them tonight, tonight. Uh, and that was our last night. That was our last night. I but never seem to have a chat, chat with them. Uh, and you go to bed if you like it, but we're going to have a chat. Aye. 
Right. And she was pulling more with him than she was pulling, really? giving out to right. me, she'd right. be half the time. Right. But when he came to the grunge, mm. she wanted, and what she never said and I going away, good luck now and safe journey. I was going to a funeral no, I and I was going to walk over mm. and I was told in the graveyard and that she, my mother was dead. And she was up early. Preparing for In a that. foot of foot all that morning she preparing said, for me. You'll have to get to that funeral. It was a neighbour over here. Neighbor His here niece was dead. Right. And uh, yeah, I thought she saw something coming mm -hmm. the way she said things the night before, mm -hmm. you know. It might be our last night together. Whatever she felt. But she was and within she three or four to... days of eighty three. Mm -hmm. But she was half going well, at the time right. now. Oh well, because she she wouldn't like a fella said, be Jesus, she sees a hundred years yeah. ahead of her. Yeah. She wants you to get things done yeah. and she yeah. talked to grandfellas and everything <laughs> coming up. Oh, she'd be trying to get extra work done, more than we'd be looking for. <laughs> that, that was her ambition yeah. all the way up through life. Yeah. My father didn't care if it was never no, done. He, well, was, he was easy going. Right? Easy going, he you know. Going, right? go nice and slow it right. and take it as it came. Right. Do you miss him? Do you miss your, your old folks? Well, for years I did. Years I did, and time wore it away. I did miss it. When to come around to the time they died, I, I'd rather I missed the dates, and I often do when yeah. I, I'd be delighted I missed them because I'd be thinking of the hours and the minutes they died and, and what happened at that time. And you would. I see no difference anyway, but they, they're telling me you can't do it out a woman. With all the equipment now, with electricity and cookers and everything, scintillating and everything, they says you can do it out a woman, no bother. <laughs> well, you got married if you hadn't been in farming? I don't know. That I had never the choice. And when you were in farming, you were too busy at it, and you had too many things crossing you every day, and too many things that you, you could never decide. So we're going to see your kind again? I wouldn't say you will. What? You won't see your kind again. The oh, youth, no. The youth is getting married, wicked young. We could you whether they hold on to the woman well, or not? Whether, whether their marriages will be a <laughs> success <laughs> or not. That's it. Some is. Some is. Some is. Some is. Some is. Mm. I suppose eighty percent of the is yeah. a success. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Do you think a woman would make a big difference on the farm here? Oh, yeah, you met the right one. If you met the wrong one, then maybe be a head of a difference too. <laughs> There's good ones and bad ones. Oh, there are good ones and bad ones, Gordon. Which one would you rather have? Well, I don't know. The women, since they got the motor cars, you couldn't stop them now. They are all going off the way they. The women says, you think he had a couple of women in the house the way that he's able to do himself up. So they admired me. Whether to marry me or not, I don't, couldn't tell you. Health was good to us, and health means a lot. Yeah. 
Of course, we were always fun to cats and dogs. dogs. We never wanted to go away too much from. <laughs> do you get on well together? We do. Oh, we do. Oh, really, never. You. What other problems, if any, that come between you? Oh, talk it over. No, it out. Chat it out. Couldn't do any more. Trying to solve it. Trying to solve it, which is the easiest this way. way out. Might be the hardest way when <laughs> we speak. That's, that's the best way. <laughs> oh, I would. I'd change my life. All right, if I was young. They have better lives going than them. Easier lives. What would you do? Oh, whatever job I take up, it'd be far better than working seven days a week. And ups and downs are no guarantee. They are guaranteeing some life, but they are no guaranteeing the family. Well, I have seven ideas, I For me, I'd say, for me, to Present and late, I think. Half eight, that nice. Half eight. That'd be old, all old thing. Are you still in the old time, then? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we're not, we, we, we have the two times, but. It don't matter what us. That's only all. When, only when they. Half seven is getting up time, no. and that's that. Only no, when no, you were up at I'm, uh, I'm up at half seven. You know, you, you, seven. Do, have the, the, you do have the eight o'clock. I do, that's right. That's, that's and you'd be up half an hour before. Would, would you'd be up at half six, so. Yeah. I'd, be, I'd be up at seven. Seven what? Uh, seven o'clock on, on my time, the cook time. That's new time. That's though. new time. Mm. Oh, I have mine cuckoo clock right inside, but he yeah, have his watch. <laughs> he have his watch the whole time. Mm -hmm. So how do you get on with the difference in the time then? <laughs> well, uh, we know. Well, according to the where we are going, you can't <laughs> we know what time they are. <laughs> so what's the time now? Uh, Coming up to half seven. <laughs> That's half eight. <laughs> is that your time or my time? <laughs> your time is half eight. <laughs> yeah. Do you leave your clocks the same all the year round? We do. We do. We do. One of them have new time well, the whole year. The whole year, I never changes it back. Because, because you have to go around that. Tw the 12 hours of the clock and leave it straight. The cuckoo clock, you know. <laughs> or the cuckoo would be wrong. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, me mother, when the new time will come in. <laughs> she'd be calling us with another hour. Another hour, double new time. Double new she'd time. Be she'd be gone. Gone. She had us over in the fat over field at half four. She had us played. And we got... <laughs> She's persuaded the demon <laughs> and tell us as we were on. As we were on. So we had to cut out our time out. <laughs> 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 they put up the clock with new time and she still had it. I had another I watch it. <laughs> no, she's taking stop and try it already, just go as far as he can. That day. Get as far as you can. Get as far as you can. Yeah. Or maybe a fight or finish. Aye, uh, something like that. The fellas, we are concerned. What do you say, Gil? <laughs> huh? What do you say? Yeah, huh? I don't know what's on you to know you. Huh? <laughs> huh? Hmm? Huh? huh? You want to come across <laughs> to me, are you? What's up with you to know? Huh? Huh? Poor old yellow, huh?
And my brother passed away, and I knew he was going down the hill since January, uh, because I could see him getting very shook and thin, and uh, getting light in his appearance, body and all. He died in the armchair, and he only had two little heads, and he quenched out. So that was that. Well, I have to make the best of it now. The unorthodox thing is I bring them back and I have to look forward and, <coughs> and do the best I can. This is where my brother and I used to sleep. We lived together all our life. From, from when we were young lads. Well, it's often times I'd, um, when I'd wake up in the night, I'd say to myself when I'd wake up after I sleep, by God, that I was a long time. What tip you? You're not have to come in yet when I'd wake up. So <laughs> uh, then after a while when I'd be awoke, I'm sure. I'd say to myself, sure he's dead, sure he's buried. Because I wouldn't be able to sleep always, I suppose, you know. And, uh, that, half, that often happened many, and not know it anyway, it happened and not know it why. He used to be a rambling and it could be late when he come in at any time. And uh, you see, uh, you know, we sleeping together and everything like that. That would be nothing new, you see. And uh, you, you'd miss him like out of the bed. The chap might go on for a while in the bed. And uh, all that's gone now just the same as did. Is that like tell you? We might talk a bit on farm and then the bit on what we were going to do and this and that and what would be the problems to be solved. And uh, no, I have no one to talk to, no one in me set to solve them. So, there yeah, it is. We used to solve them between us. Uh, so, that ends that life anyway. Uh, With Paddy now gone, Nicholas's world was about to change forever as events unfolded around the time of the funeral. Paddy had kept a part of his life hidden from his brother all these years, and a daughter was about to claim her lawful inheritance. Somebody said that uh, some woman turned up at the grave, a, a, a daughter, or... How oh, should they say it? They're saying that, but that's all right. Liam said to me, there's a woman wants to see you. I, said, I didn't know who, who was the woman. And she came down by the gable of the house and she says, uh, uh, do you know that I'm Paddy's daughter? And by Jesus, I never knew you were his daughter. He said, now you're telling me you're yeah, his daughter for 50 years. And 50 years gone, that you, you didn't tell me for 50 years. And uh, she says, uh, I want a, a, a bit of his hair or something, and uh, yeah, you should sign the paper and go to the and sign nothing. They was just, uh, sign nothing. You had 50 years to do whatever you like to do, but get going, they would get out of this place now, says I, and you'll be getting the boat and that. So oh, she took off and that was done. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> Why did she want the hair from Paddy? I don't know, there's something about tests or something, I, would, I wouldn't be able to go on that. There's something about the, this, this DNA test or this new thing, no. I, I wouldn't be able to go on it. The like you know, um, and all them things, I suppose you'd know better, no, I wouldn't. You know, that'd be trying to prove something, I suppose. Is she claiming the farm? Well, she's, she's trying to do her best. You had 50 years, girl, as I to go about it. Didn't be going about it when a man is dead. A dead man can't talk. He can't defend himself. Uh, so, it's all I could tell you. I couldn't tell you anymore.
I'm only walking from day to day. I'm only walking with solicitors and uh, everything from day to day, and I'm only walking with cattle. They're cattle on both farms. I'm only walking that from day to day, and uh, they, they have to play on the farms ever till the fall of the year or till they be feeding. I have to walk away, uh, linger a day as long as that. We, we farmed the tubers when we were young up along and uh, there were no problems, no problems. And uh, when there were no problems, we, we often spoke about things if they were problems and we sorted them out, the problems. Well, I have no one now to sort out the problems, only myself. And myself have to sort out my own problems. So <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't answer you knew anything straight off. Nowadays, all I could tell you, I couldn't dance the young things later. I'm thankful to the courage that I always had. In all I could tell you. I saw myself three, three times killed, and I escaped. And be this is don't be talking. There'd be another person who wouldn't get one chance. But this time, Paddy could not escape from the reality of inheritance law. And after the daughter succeeded with her court case. Nicholas decided to sell up and retire from farming. He now lives a greatly changed life. Since my brother died, I sold all the cattle and changed my life of farming, which I think is for the best. I have an easier life now, and I wished I'd done it years ago. So, <laughs> there it is. What's easier about it? Oh, an easier life and getting away from the tax from the government uh, as much as I could. <laughs> have so, you no, no cattle at all? No cattle at all. No cattle at all. No, I don't ever intend to have cattle. With all the thing, all the trouble as wood cattle now, and too many buses over you, you don't know do you own them at all. <laughs> so there. <laughs> it's a little bit lonely since I, my brother died. I missed them all right, but as time will go on, I'll be starting to forget. So that's life. It must go on. So that's what that's my opinion anyway. Uh -huh. Do you think you might get married now that your brother's gone? <laughs> ah, I don't think. I don't think. What would I want to get married now for? Because boy, it is a good time I want. And and maybe she'd want to go walking. <laughs> Both of us we have the dog is retired now, didn't we? <laughs> you were the best pen I had and the finish. The best pen I had. You was a better pen even than me brother on the finish. <laughs> That's all I could tell you. The best pal I had. You know. He was more faithful. Oh, a dog, a dog. I'd say a dog. They're the best companion you ever had. That's all I say. Next Wednesday at 7 o'clock, Nationwide will be here with your stories from around the country. Next tonight, someone is about to swim with the fishes and big ones at that. Wild Trials Extinct is on the way after the break.